All right, so I've been out here working on the 56. I cleaned up everything, right? Took all the stuff off the seat. Cleaned up all the debris and stuff on the floor. Started taking the dash apart. Dashboard's over there. It's, uh, I want to take the steering column off. I'm going to take that four pl floor plate off. Um, take all that insulation stuff out. I also got to take this insulation out and then the fuel tank. I got my cab puller. I still need to get a couple things for it. Um, including the hoist and the, the little part that goes across the beam that holds the hoist. So getting ready to pull this cab off. But I installed that radiator just to mock it up see how it looks and then so i took the battery tray off i know i didn't get any video of this before i did anything but took the battery tray off i cleaned up there was a, a solenoid here don't know what that went to took all the wiring out of here cut it all out of the lights and trying to clean this up so then i gotta take the brake pedal off the clutch pedal off uh, remove this linkage. I don't know what to do with the steering column just yet, but I got to figure that out too. So then I can pull this cab off. So yeah, that's where I'm at now. Looks pretty good. I'm really happy with the way this radiator looks. Yeah. That's the truck as she sits now. So. Try to get it on that, that other chassis soon. Oh, I did notice that the little rail right here, the defroster, um, I don't know what that would be called, but the little rail for the defroster is missing. This seal is kind of jacked. So I guess both my trucks need new windshields. Um, you know, I haven't looked at this back window yet. This back window looks pretty decent. May just pull it out and reseal it, but it looks pretty decent. The other truck needs a new rear window. Now I get to start messing with these. Oh, so that door was locked. I think I mentioned that in one of the videos. So check out what I had to do. <laughs> it looks pretty bad, right? I was trying not to damage the door at all. So I originally drilled out, and I got this little mechanism to kind of function, but I ended up cutting it here to take the whole thing out because there's a little button in the back that only allows, like, a, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a little pin, and it pushes on through through that hole, and then you touch that, and you can open up this door. So let me grab a screwdriver. So now it's unlocked. I'm sorry, not unlocked, but popped. So I can open it. I didn't clean this side yet, but something that needs to get done. Oh, and check this out. Huh? Radio Shack Express roll? That's what I'm talking about. So I got to replace it. I got to pull all that out. Um, a buddy of mine is going to take it for a retro um, concept that he's doing on his build. So that's going to be pretty neat for him. But so far, so good. I just little by little taking it apart. I should really get in here and clean this boy up, though. <laughs> that's nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> May help it smell better, too. But yeah, looking forward to it. I kind of like the paint in here, this little tuxedo look for it. With the white white panels and the white uh the vents. There's little accents, but I think it would be so hot in here during the summer. 
who knows but yeah she's definitely coming together looking looking better gotta do something about this seat <laughs> seat's definitely seeing uh some mileage but yeah i'm gonna continue on taking out like these gauges right here those those switches right here it's not gonna be used in what i'm doing so steering column has to go I still need to figure out what these, like, I know on my truck, in my teal truck, that this is the defrost. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not defrost, but the fan control is in this one. And then this one is just a cigarette lighter, so that one not being there makes sense in a work truck. And then I I don't know what I'm going to do to cover these holes because somebody, I don't know if that's factory or what. And I know in the the trucks that have the uh, factory radio that this these are the knobs for that, but... Like, what am I going to do with that? Maybe make those the... Uh, I could put them on the roof, the roof lights. One of them, at least. And maybe the other one, some fog lights for the grill. I have no idea. Something I'll have to look at at car shows, see what people are doing with that stuff. But cool, this is uh, Christmas Eve, this is what I'm doing. Hope you guys have a good Christmas. Thanks for watching.